Hello YouTube, so today I'll be making an overview of Coda and the features of Coda and how I enjoy using Coda version 2.0.12 in web development. So I basically use this for HTML and CSS only. I don't do JavaScript and I'm pretty much a beginner but I'll show around this program, how I use it, why I enjoy using it over a basic script editor and browser and some very cool features about this. So first off, here's the CSS. This is how CSS works. It's very nice, you have the line numbers over here. You have a bar over here. Here you have the possibility to open different folders and open up all your source files. Here we have a site, so you can quickly open working folders, track and changes, etc. Here you have all the files. So again, files with FTP server and all these different options over here. And we have really nice um, different colors in the syntax. We have options, for example, for the gradient. You can change the gradient. It gives you all sorts of coloring options. It's just a very nice piece of software. And it also has autocomplete, for example, if you just go like that. Uh, whenever you do tags, it'll actually autocomplete some of your tags. So if I do like P, it automatically do slash P. So I just have to type the slash, and it does it automatically. It also has suggestions, so in case you forget some of your commands, you can quickly access those commands. My number one most favorite thing about this though is the preview function. So before I actually had the ability to have a larger monitor, as you can see this is an ultra wide, I'd have to um, use this function. So you have a plus here, and you can have a preview, or you can have source code one below another one, which is really nice. You can close it like that. But another thing is if I go preview here, which previews the web page, I can actually go preview in, I can select a web browser, or I can select a new window. It's the same with this here. Even as I even as I edit the code on this side of the page, so let's say I go like Okay. I did not save this. So if I have this link directly to Dropbox where it would automatically update, but say I want to push something, I do not need to save it and I already see the changes which is a really big advantage compared with other IDEs. So this is very nice. You see the way that it works. It's very fluent and it's instant changes, so I don't need to wait for anything to happen. This happens instantly. So if I go over here and I search from November 5 to, let's say, one week from now, which would be November 20, I can quickly do this and save it. And now I have it here. And all this is really nice. Auto indents. I can quickly change all the dates. It's nice and easy, and it just works. So this is fine for me. Also, as different features, for example, here you can quickly open up all of your different files. You can open up images. So let's try a background. We see our background. If you preview, it's obviously the same preview. You can open up a new document. Here you can see the resolution, you can change the zoom of the document. You can go ahead over here, you can solutions, Java file. You can open up a Java file, obviously there's no preview. So here we have like the HTML preview of this, but obviously this doesn't really work. But anyways, this is just very neat. You can see how it works, you can have a new untitled. Here you can just have like a notepad, untitled document. Overall, it, there's just so many features about this program that here you have books, HTML reference. So you can quickly search up HTML references in case you forget how to use the different tags. It's just an amazing experience overall and I highly recommend this product for anyone. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it provides some insight on this application. Thanks for watching.